I belong to a lower middle class family. I was privileged enough to go to a school. Most of my classmates came in cars while I had to wait 45 minutes for the bus to arrive. I was a good student. Due to my good performance in class 11th, I got admission in second year of Bachelors of Commerce at Sydneyam College. That was a great year. I was on crash course of arrogance. I spent most of my time at nearby St Xavier's College where smartest girls studied. At the end of the year, results came and I was failed. My parents were shattered, but I was not. It was blow to my ego and self-confidence, but I was determined to get past that failure. I decided to reappear for the exams. I studied for 6 months and finally cleared all the exams. Those 6 months gave me enough time to think what path I really wanted to take. I wanted to do something of my own. In early 1980s, cable TV was a new phenomenon. I ventured into the cable TV business. Back then, people never held a remote in their hands. To sell the concept of cable TV, we set up hundreds of demos in building lobbies across the city. Over the next 12 months, we did over thousands of demos and 3000 door-to-door visits before we get our first connection. At that pace, it would take years to get to critical mass. We wanted to scale fast. We took an initiative. We targeted every hotel in the country for cable service. After a year of hard work, hard selling and patience, we convinced most of the major hotel chains across India to buy in. This made selling the cable services to the masses easier. In my early 20s, I did some front of television anchoring and had flown to UK to learn more. My dad was in London at the same time I was. He took me to a tour to hair and toothbrush factory. There I saw two toothbrush machines ready to be scrapped. I requested the authorities to hold those machines for 60 days. Importing the machines and getting another decade or more of production out of them in India made perfect economic sense to me. I fought like hell to get appointment with companies. Finally, a company decided to give me a 120 day letter of intent. The next hurdle was to get the funding. Fortunately, the banks were willing to work with me. Due to our brutally efficient technology, our machines cranked out toothbrushes at a high rate. In the first year, laser brushes produced half a million brushes and over the next 8 years, we produced nearly 50 million brushes per year. In early 1990s I started UTV with 37500 rupees good for basic rent and some salaries for the first 5 years there was no external funding at that time my vision was not so ambitious i wanted to create television programs for various channels the show that established UTV as an innovator a disruptor and the creator of the new wave of indian television was the daily soap shanti shanti struggled for the first 6 months after 6 months audience grew by leaps and bounds shanti ran for 3 years with close to 800 episodes after growing utv for a few years in the late 1990s we wanted to expand into broadcasting and movie business we started our journey with the bollywood stereotype a villain a hero a love interest six songs and three long hours of celluloid the movie was dil ke jharoke mein the movie was a disaster the film cost rupees 10 crores to produce in today's term around 45 crores we lost it all no one saw the movie i knew it that movie was going to be a disaster but i went with the popular consensus The lessons I learned producing that film was to believe in my own convictions and gut. Though failure is a comma, not a full stop. I know from painful experiences that blockbusters don't just happen. We struggled frequently for the first 3 or 4 years in the movie business. 
One day, my CFO walked into my room and said, "I think we need to partner with someone familiar with this model." I agreed. My first call was to Yash Chopra at Yashraj Studios. He told me to come on that day or next. Yash ji was humble and approachable. We talked for an hour. At the end, he respectfully refused the idea of partnership. One door closed. My next call was Amitabh Bachchan Corporation Limited. We had two detailed meetings. In the second meeting, I met Amit ji, Jaya ji and Abhishek with their management teams. The second meeting didn't get very far and we let it pass. Second door closed. My third and fourth call was Sony Pictures and 20th Century Fox respectively. But they didn't reach final conclusion. Four door closed and no solution in sight. This made us realize that we were outsiders for the film industry. Outsiders follow their instincts and those of their team and colleagues. Our mantra was to learn from past mistakes, fail fast and fail forward. We did a lot of non-conventional cinema and positioned, marketed and distributed it to become successful commercially as well. Every movie we made was a cluster breaking. Ghosla ka ghosla, Passion, Kaipoche, Kamine, Pan Singh Tomar Udan, Delhi Belly, Swades, Rangde Basanti, and many others. UTV Film won 25 national awards for nine films. It is 10 times more than any corporation. By 2006, the scale bug had bitten us. UTV pivoted to the mostly consumer-facing business. We started cluster of TV channels, from Bindas to UTV Movies, from UTV Action to UTV World Movies. We also opened a business news channel in collaboration with Bloomberg called Bloomberg UTV. Our most innovative work was launching our kids TV channel called Hangama. The content was mainly from Japan. Doraemon and Shinchan set us apart from the competition. 18 months forward, we were the number one channel in the sector. Others saw the channel's eventual success and its subsequent scale to Disney as a stroke of luck. Not true. The idea worked because of laser vision, tremendous planning, disruptive programming, and bold marketing. In February 2012, the Walt Disney Company acquired UTV. I worked as a managing director of the combined entity, Disney UTV, till December 2013. Finally, I moved out of the media and entertainment business. Let's learn to create products and services that deliver for life, not repair for life. Don't wait a day to begin. Bring your ideas, your passion and your vision to prove the world that you can make a difference. It's all possible. Just dream your own dream and when you do it, dream with your eyes open.